Today we are going to share our top 10 travel must-have items. The things that we 100% recommend and that honestly I wouldn't want to leave home without. I'm Jeremy, this is Kendra. We normally are vlogging, we've been filming pretty much every day of our one year trip around the world. This is more of a behind the scenes video. You, you didn't mention the kids. We have five of them. <laughs> we I have forgot five about kids. the kids. <laughs> and we are taking them on a 12 month trip around the world. Yeah. I stressed a lot about what to pack. I mean, it's a 12 month trip and I wanted to be prepared but not take too much stuff, so it was a really delicate balance. Every single one of these items is something that I carefully researched and we decided on and we love. It was hard for me to narrow it down to 10 items, so I might sneak in a couple bonus he items kept at the adding, end. He kept adding to the pile. I'm like, babe, it's The top 10, 10 and 30 <laughs> bonus items. <laughs> We're gonna try to keep it to the 10. And okay. some bonus items. Number one on the list of travel must-haves is Global Rescue. Let me tell you my story. We had just moved to Puerto Rico with our five young children four years ago, and Jeremy was gone traveling, so I was alone with all five kids. It was late at night, and my son had his very first seizure. And it was the most terrifying moment for me as a mom. But added to that was the fact that I was in a place that was foreign to me. I didn't speak the language, I didn't know how to access help, and honestly, I was in such a state of panic and overwhelm that I wasn't thinking super clearly. I definitely went into stress. It was hard to be far outside of my comfort zone when experiencing a medical emergency. When Jeremy and I we're feeling excited and starting to really get interested in the idea of longer term world travel as a family. That memory of that first seizure came so strongly to my mind. And I said, babe, we have to feel safe. Like we're taking five children around the world. And I just, I was like, we have to find a solution. So a friend told me about Global Rescue. I was so relieved and excited to hear about Global Rescue that we reached out to them and they are sponsoring our video today and we are happy to share all this information with you guys. In case of any medical emergency, anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, we know who we can reach out to and they will tell us where to go to get the appropriate medical care that we need. If that's not available in our area, they will help us evacuate to where we can get proper medical attention and they're also there to support us in case of natural disasters, civil unrest, things like a pandemic, any of those kinds of emergencies, they're there to step in and help us. We actually had a situation this morning with one of our kids where if we were back home, we would have called our primary care doctor or maybe even gone to an urgent care, but we were able to call Global Rescue. We were able to set up a video chat right then with the doctor. We got a prescription by email that we were able to take into the pharmacy and we got all of that taken care of all before anyone was awake back in the States. For us, we do have a one year plan with them, but you can do much shorter plans if you're going on just a two week trip. This is something that we will use whenever we travel internationally. I can especially see myself using this as the kids get older and start adventuring out on their own. Global Rescue is also a resource for trip planning. They have detailed destination reports and real time alerts of any concerns in different places around the world. They also provide assistance if you're having problems related to passports, visas, or just needing a translator. If you need to use their resource, there is no deductible or copay or claim forms or anything like that, but they're there to help have your back when something happens. Thanks again to Global Rescue for sponsoring this video and we invite you to go to their website. We have a link below where you can check out their different offerings for all different kinds of travel and see how they can help you. Number two is this Venture Pal 40 liter bag. Here's what's so cool about this bag. It folds up into this little tiny thing. So here's why you need this bag. You don't wanna take your big luggage through you know downtown Paris and see stuff. You want to have just a small compact bag to take with you on your hike, and then it collapses down into that zippered pocket so you can just put it in your regular luggage when you're traveling. It's got water bottle holders. It's got a wet bag in it. It's got plenty of space, lots of pockets. It has already held up to so much. They come in lots of different colors and lots of different sizes. It's got a chest strap. It's adjustable. We lovingly call this our adventure bag. Number three, universal adapters. We have all kinds of electronics for our laptops, you know, charging our phones, 
and we need adapters because the kind of outlets that we use in the United States are different in different places around the world. What makes this a universal adapter is that it has the plugs for many different places, whether that's the EU, UK, and other places around the world. Um, we're in France, boom. We're in the UK. And then, you know, you get that adapter. The other thing that we really enjoy about these adapters is that they have a USB-C plug right here and then all of these USB plugs on the back. So not only does it plug in as an adapter, but it has multiple ways that we can charge our phones, our devices, all from this one adapter. We got two of different colors so that we always knew that we didn't leave one behind. Number four is medicine. I have five kids and it was really important to me to be prepared. I probably went overkill on this, but I'm okay with that because it fits. Here's how I did this for organization. I've got a little bitty bag. This one comes with us all the time. It is either in my purse, in our adventure bag. It is always on hand. It's got band-aids, Tylenol and ibuprofen for adults and kids, Dramamine, and my son's emergency seizure medicine. The red bag is the bag we are going to use 95% of the time. Okay, in here we've got band-aids, Neosporin. We've got some Aquaphor, a thermometer. We've got bigger containers of Tylenol and Ibuprofen. We've got hydrocortisone cream. We've got Pedialax. We also have my favorite thing ever, which is called the bug bite thing. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. The first time I heard of it, I thought it was a complete hoax, but it's not. So all you do when you get a bug bite is you put it on top and you suction it and it makes it stop itching. Extra nail clippers, you always need those on hand. And I have a few essential oils. I love lavender oil for burns and peppermint oil for headaches. We also have some melatonin for those jet lag times. It's really cool because it comes in little tiny strips. And so it was just a nice and compact way to bring something. The blue first aid kit has our long-term prescription medication. Before we left for 12 months, we filled our prescription medicines for an entire 12 month period. We did that by paying cash instead of billing it through our insurance. But it also has stuff like Benadryl and daytime, nighttime cold and flu medications. It's got emergency medicine stuff. This is a bleed stop that in case someone is bleeding and we can't get medical attention quite soon enough, it can clot the blood. So it's got all sorts of more bigger issue situations in here. Number five is our passport carrier. So we have seven passports and it can be stressful in the airport when you have to bring out all the documentation. So having it in one compact place that was very easy to use, really was a good idea. One of the fun things that we did with the passports is we put little stickers on the back so that we could easily know whose passport it was just from opening the case. I'm the cactus. Does that say something about me? Like I'm the prickly one? Other documentation we have in here is our international driving permit and our international vaccination records. So it just holds a lot of stuff that is super important all in one place easy to access. Number six is reusable bags. Oh my goodness, I got a pack of five of these and I stuffed them in our bag thinking we might use that at some point. We have used it daily, like multiple times a day, all of them. We especially use it when we're going grocery shopping, but also when we're just heading out somewhere and we need some bag to hold stuff. It often is holding snacks. Sometimes it's holding all of our swimsuits. Sometimes it's holding all of our sweatshirts. It's been so useful and multi-purpose. These ones are awesome. They quick dry in case they get wet. They pack down really, really tight, but you just bloop them out. Bloop, and there you go. Um, they've been really sturdy and held up to carrying all sorts of stuff. I would not leave home without reusable bags. Number seven is my Apple wallet and the methods of payment that we're relying on during the world trip. Before we left to travel, I had one of these wallets. This is what I've used my whole life. It's huge, it's thick, it goes in my back pocket, and it's always something extra to carry around. What I've loved about this is that I no longer have anything in my back pocket. It's just connected magnetically to my phone. And this even has a tracking device on it, so I always can know where it is if it somehow gets separated. But it very easily just sticks right on my phone. And then the cards inside have been a lifesaver. I only carry four things actually in the wallet. I'm able to carry some cash, I have my driver's license, and then I have a Chase travel card 
and a Charles Schwab card. And I use these for different reasons and I'm glad that I have multiple of them in case something goes wrong. We actually got hacked the day that we flew to Europe. All of my cards from both of my banks that I normally use were no longer available. And all that we could use were these new travel credit cards that I had got. The Chase Sapphire Preferred card is the main credit card that I'm using and I'm building up travel points and it's been accepted everywhere that I've used it. And I also use the Apple Wallet feature. So typically I'm not even using my card. I'm just, you know, touching my phone onto some payment device and that works. When there are situations that I need cash, I'm using my Charles Schwab card and there I actually set up an account, put some money in. When I'm using an ATM, there's typically a transaction fee and Charles Schwab actually gives me a reimbursement for any of those transaction fees. So I'm not getting charged every time that I'm getting cash out during this world trip. Number eight is packing cubes. I am so excited to tell you about packing cubes. They have literally been life-changing on this trip. I was laying in bed with Jeremy one night and I looked at him and I said, babe, I wouldn't even come on this trip without packing cubes. Like you couldn't make me go on this kind of a trip without packing cubes. Okay, here's why they are so awesome. Number one, they come in different colors. Every single one of these, I can look at it and tell you exactly whose that is. Laura, me. Janae, me, Laura, Elise, Isaac, Caleb. Jeremy has his own stuff. I'd heard the packing cubes were great for organization. What I didn't realize is that they also did compression. Check this out. So here's what the cube looks like when you're packing it, okay? You put your stuff in there, you zip it up, boom, and then you go to the side and you activate the compression zipper. Look how much smaller that is. It's amazing. I knew they'd be great for organization in our suitcases, but I didn't realize how much I would use them for organization in the different rentals and hotels that we're staying in. So here's the thing. Most rentals don't have a lot of dresser space or closet space. And so what we do is we just unzip the compression straps and then we use this as a drawer that we live out of the whole time we're at a rental. That means a lot less packing and unpacking from our suitcases. We literally just get these out, line them up, and then we're ready to go. We each have three of them. So we use one for tops, one for bottoms, and one for underwear, socks, and pajamas. When I'm traveling, I can get easily overstimulated by just too much chaos, too much stuff and the packing cubes has really helped simplify that for me. Number nine is our portable battery chargers. When you're out and about traveling, the phone is a life support. It shows you where you're going next. Sometimes we need it for Uber or for getting the information to our next location, or it has our train ticket on it. You have to have a phone that is functioning and often you're using it a lot through the day. And so we love these because they're small. We just stick them in the adventure bag. When our battery is running low on the phone, we are able to just charge it up and then we can stick that right in my pocket and use it while it's charging so that we always have enough battery life to function throughout a day. We actually initially got these when we went to Disney World because we needed them there as well, but we've been using them constantly here on the world trip. Number 10 is our lightweight towels that we brought with us. When we packed, I was wondering, are we really gonna use those? Is this just gonna take up space? Now I'm wishing that we packed a few more. We packed four of them and we just share them. They're very lightweight, they're Turkish towels, so they dry really quickly. And we use them as towels on all of our swimming adventures, but also we've used them as picnic blankets, we've used them as regular blankets when we're cold, we've used them as rain shields, we've used them for all sorts of stuff. Um, there's always one or two in the adventure bag and there's a reason why they're always there. It's because we always need them. Since Jeremy is really excited about some bonuses, I've decided to turn it into a little bit of a game. Let's see how many bonuses he can fit in three minutes. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah, I'm gonna let this car go by and then I'm gonna start. Now, Jeremy, this is three real minutes, not three edited minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's like the end of a football game or a right? basketball game. I'm like, it's no, like, no, there's no. only three minutes left of the game an hour later. On your mark, get set, go. All right, so the first bonus item is my sleeping mask. We were in Sweden and... <clears throat> ah! I can't edit it though! Okay, no editing. 
We were in Sweden and it was bright at 11 p.m. And so I loved having the sleeping mask. This is our music machine. I just took it up to there. It's really small. It can connect onto my backpack. And so we'll put a link to that below. I love my electronics bag. Whenever we're on a flight and everyone needs their headphones or all the different other cords and electronic things, it goes in here. This is a mini poopery device. Kendra, when she's going to the bathroom, sometimes we only have one bathroom in a little house, and so you can just spray this in the water and it doesn't smell so bad when you go to the bathroom. And yes, it's for me, not for Kendra. All right, this is Life Straw. It's a filtering system where you just suck through. We've been in Europe and so we haven't needed this, but I think it is gonna be very valuable when we're in other parts of the world. This is a noisemaker. We have needed this. When you're in a big city and it's super loud, we just turn on the noisemaker and it really makes a big difference. I love that it's portable and um, it works really well. These are Apple AirTags and they're on little watch bands. We put this on our younger kids whenever we're in a big city so that we can keep track of them and make sure that we don't lose them. We can literally track them digitally from our phones with the Apple AirTags. The Kindles have been a game changer. We used to have bookshelves and bookshelves of books, and now we can get any book we need at any time. All of the kids have their own Kindle and they're using them nonstop. We have them as well where they work with Audible so that they can listen to books or read them, and we love that feature. This... One minute remaining. All right, this is for laundry. These are laundry sheets. Instead of carrying around detergent, which you can't take on flights, it's like dryer sheets, but they're the laundry soap. It's incredible. This is a blow-up booster seat. And so when we drive around, if we're renting a, via, a, a car, we can actually blow up the booster seat. Janae sits on it, and then we just deflate it, and it goes in our bag. We have loved having a laundry basket. It might seem frivolous, but I have loved it. This is a little cleaning device that we use in the showers. Look at that. It exfoliates. It's so much better than just using your hands, or if you have a rag or not. These are shampoo, conditioner, bars, and this is my laptop case. I want to make sure my laptop is safe, and I never know if it will be because um, you know when you're carrying so much stuff in your backpack it can get crushed and so I keep my backpack safe and the final thing Kendra was wanting me to share <laughs> are the specs this is a fidget toy that all of the children love it's a bunch of little magnetic balls and everyone likes to play with them so we use these all the time that's the buzzer <laughs> I did it all Woo! even with the rough start there I got a little flustered at you the beginning Thanks, Laura. <laughs> Did they understand any of that? Yeah. That's the bonus stuff. So we'll put links below to all of those different items that we've loved having. If you like this kind of content, we can definitely do, I'll stop my timer. If you like this kind of content, let us know because we have more stuff that we packed and we could share a more complete version of everything that we packed, the bags that we chose, the shoes that we're using. Disclaimer, we've only been doing this for... Yeah, as a disclaimer, we've only been traveling for about five weeks so far. And so we're going to continue to learn and use different items. Jay, how's out? We're headed on an adventure. Are you ready to go hike? Let's do it. Now we just have to put everything away. So the next place we're going is... We are kayaking. This moment feels a little outside of my comfort zone.